In second part of this uh, workshop, we are going to uh, basically take the example of the dealer F6 and F4 and there is slight difference between the F4 and F6 model but the wings are same. And uh, first of all in this part I am just going to model this uh, geometry in the AutoCAD and uh, for that and before that I want to give you idea that the, from where I have gotten this data so you can go there on this website aaa dash dpw drag, drag protection workshop and from this website you can get the data for the all the drag protection workshops up to the 7 which is going to happen in 2020 and here is the first uh, aaa cfd drag protection workshop and uh, you will get all data from here like the participation list cases and they, they, this was held in 2001 and la, like uh, 20 years ago you can get the guard report and uh, you will also get the other data files and uh, also geometry file as well as and uh, this is the second AIAA CFD data production workshop and uh, if you take a look here especially I want to uh, uh, get your notice here is that the reference area is uh, given in this uh, this data so you will get let me show you so we have the reference area of the hop model is 72700 millimeter square and uh, we have the moment reference point we have the mean arriving card and the projected half span which is the half of the length of the of the of the wing which is 584.647 and here is the geometry file this is the uh, coordinate file xyz for the body or the fuselage and we have the wing and here is the wing here is the whole geometry in the ideal format and uh, here is some data for the this uh, first deck prediction workshop the uh, the points at which you want to make the simulation and the drag polar for example and the optional cases and there are some nodes and this is a guard report that, which is basically is, is the initial point for this whole uh, exercise okay so let me show you okay so from the home I'm going to uh, create the this uh, one vertical line and that line would be equal to the 240.1 which is uh, up to this part of the wing from the starting of wing that is going inside the fuselage it's not actually part of the wing but if you project this wing up to the center line this is the point here and the length of this one will be vertically downward and which will be equal to 240.1 millimeters 240.1 millimeters okay so this is done the second thing is that we have the this uh, length of wing on this part is 235.05 so second thing I will do is that I will be making this line and before that if you go to the snap uh, property so just turn on the end point and maybe intersection but do not turn on the any other option because this will make disturbance while creating geometry so second one would be equal to the 235.05 235.05 so this is the we are basically modeling the half wing and uh, once we mirror this geometry we will get the full model okay then second next thing is the this uh, geometry so if you take a look here if you see here so this is 27.1 and from vertical side this angle would be equal to if I make a subtraction so 1 180 minus 27.1 is equal to 152.9 so second line either I would be making at the, this angle or this angle depending on the which dimension I am going to get here so I am getting this angle so I am going to put the so I will get the line uh, somehow larger maybe uh, to up to maybe a, but that end should be more than the length we are going to get for this wing here so uh, press on the tab key so we will be in the in the angle selection mode and put the value of 152.9 from your keyboard so this is a line here and if you take a look here so we can get the this uh, second point of this uh, this uh, wing by simply dividing this whole length of wing span which is 1171.3 
by 2 for the half side. This is a 585.65. So I would be making this uh, line with a zero anchor. This, uh, this, this, this is going to be the horizontal line. And uh, length of the sign will be equal to the 585.65. And make sure the angle is 0 or 180 degrees. And then I will make another line from the end point of this line. And that this line will be the purely vertical like this. And then I will use the trim function and I will trim this line here, this line here, this line here, and this line over here. And now I want to make the another line. This line would be equal to the the core length of the wing tip, which is 60.8, 60.8. Okay, so we are done with this part. Now uh, we are going to just join these two sides, these two points. So we are done with the half wing of this uh, DRF4, F6 geometry. And simply use the this uh, uh, command which is the mirror command. So I will select these uh, geometry parts. Again, do it. Second line, third line, and the fourth line. Again with the same left from the mouse button, and then simply press your enter key on the keyboard. And then we have to select the two points for the mirror plane like this and uh, then press the enter key again okay so now we are done with uh, this uh, whole wing but definitely we are going to need the only half of the this wing for the area and uh, for this case basically we are going to use the the method by the airbus because it's a guard case and they are they are using the that method and this method we are going to draw the one line and the deadline would be on the fuselage so for the fuselage we have the dimension which is equal to the 148.4 184.148.4 so its half would be equal to 148.4 divided by 2 is equal to 74.2 so I would be making the one more line. This line is equal to the 74.2 and uh, drop this line uh, vertically. Okay. And now I will use the trim function and uh, I would be trimming this thing. Okay. And again, you have to take a look on this thing and how this works. So from here, Basically, they are going to make the geometry linear into the this part. So let me uh, do it again. So okay. So I'm going to make the line equal to uh, its width equal to seventy four point two, and this is the horizontal line. Seventy four point two. Okay, so now draw the line vertically, and then simply I will I will be using the now from this point onwards we have to make the area. So first I will use the trim function here and here and also here and as well as over here. Okay, then. Uh, because this is the my uh, my center line this is center line so i would be making the one line here this is the my end point and uh, slightly increase the length and again use the use the trim function and just trim this geometry so this half part is the original geometry which we have for the this uh, drf 4 f6 geometry and this is the geometry we made this half is based on the the model by the airbus and if you take a look on the this uh, part again so i have to just make sure that everything is all right so i need to see that the, if the dimension is 235.05 or not from this point to this point so i will use the dimensions 
and uh, this point and uh, this end point so this is 235.05 this is all right okay and also for this part again i will be making this dimension which should be equal to 60.80 this is correct okay now uh, we have to divide this geometry into three parts these three parts is one is from this point and again use a trim function so now we have the four areas one two and three these two are triple headers so i will be getting area by the table order function which is equal to the so area is equal to uh, these are equal this area is equal to a plus b upon 2 into height so any two parallel sides will be the a and b any two non parallel sides will not be considered like c and d so we will instead we will take the height and so this will be the a plus b divided by 2 into h so let me open the excel and i will put we i will be putting every data on that uh, excel sheet okay so we will get the three areas so area one this is the area two this is the area three okay so uh, for area one i will be needing the two dimensions uh, one is the length and second is the width so let me do it again from the dimensions uh, i will be getting this dimension this is equal to the 74.2 and uh, this vertical dimension is equal to the 202.13 so this is very simple equal to the 74.2 into 202.13 and for second dimension i am going to use the these are two parallel sides they will be the a and b and this will be the these are c and d so instead of these sides we will be using the height of this part so for this this dimension is equal to 0202.13 so there is no need to again do it for this part just make dimension for the second part and then and then for this uh, third part which will be the is the height so for second area the area would be equal to the a plus b so a plus b is equal to the so put one more bracket so this is equal to the 202.13 plus 119.82 bracket close divide by 2 bracket close into height which is equal to the 160.85 this area is 25,892 millimeter because all dimensions are in the millimeter and for third dimension we are going to use is the we also need this uh, area which is equal to 60 point the then and then of this uh, tip chord is the 60.80 and again we need uh, this height which is equal to the these two points so a and b are the 119.82 and 60.8 respectively and height is 351.23 therefore again we will use the two brackets so 119.82 plus 60.8 bracket close divide by 2 bracket close into height which is 351.23 okay now simply sum these all areas so these three areas they are equal to 72,610 and now just take a reference and uh, here the area is equal to the 72,700 millimeter square that is for the half of the side and the full side area would be equal to the double of this value which is equal to the 72,700 into 2 but uh, right now instead of the 72,700 uh, now let me show you side by side okay so the area here we are getting is the 72700 and here area here we are getting is the 72610 so maybe there are some error while we are measuring the data there, there may be some precision error 
So those decimal places when we are updating data only up to one decimal place, one to two decimal place. So this might make some issues. So this might be issue of the round of error. So overall, we can see that we can find out the area by the different method. But if you go with uh, the Boeing method, which is the, this uh, second method, and known as the Wimpress method, you have to use the this dimension. So first the area of this whole trapezoid, and then area of this triangle, then area of this uh, parallelogram divide into multiply by this length CE divide by length CF. This will be giving you slightly less area than the this method, and this whole trapezoid definition will give you the area. Uh, this is least area as compared to the Wimpress and the Airbus method. This is all about the how you can find out the areas required for the CFD analysis while you are going to predict the drag coefficient, lift coefficient or for some other parameters.